Good evening. <clears throat> I'm actually starting a few minutes early tonight because we have an exciting thing that we're going to do before Bible study. Cresta, what do we have? Russ, I am presenting Cooper Caldwell on behalf of the nominating committee, congregation, and active session to become an active elder, class of 2024, effective this Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. That's terrific. Cooper, you're aware of all this. Are you comfortable with all this? I am very comfortable. That's terrific. So I have, I have a scripture that I want to share that I think fits you and fits this very well. Uh, it's from John 12th chapter, it's the 26th verse, and this is literally just a few days before Jesus' death, and Jesus knew that, that, um, uh, that his time was coming very quickly, and he was talking uh, to a larger audience in the um, temple area, and they were asking about who would serve him. And Jesus says very simply, anyone who wants to serve me must follow me. Because my servants must be where I am, and the Father will honor anyone who serves me. So he says very simply, uh, if, if you want to serve him, you must be willing to follow him. And to follow him, that must mean that we love him. So, Cooper, my question to you is, who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And that's wonderful. So you're comfortable in your commitment and your willingness to serve him. Yes, I am. That's excellent. So now, Cooper, let me ask you this question. Your willingness to, to serve Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is wonderful. Are you willing to serve him in the church of Cheryl's Ford Presbyterian? Absolutely. Excellent. So you're willing to follow Jesus Christ. You're willing to serve him which means, and I'm putting this word in your mouth, so I'm going to ask for an affirmation, you love him. Do you love your Lord? I love Jesus Christ. That's wonderful. And you're willing to serve him here. Those are the things that are the most important. As life goes on within our own lives and within the life of the church, God puts things in front of us. And he puts things in front of us sometimes that we expect and very often that we don't expect. And as we all know that happens in our personal lives, the same thing happens in the life of a church. It could be something with the plant. It could be, it, it could be any of many things. The session of this church literally are the leaders, the active leaders of this church. They're charged with the responsibility of making decisions that impact both the direction and the momentum of this church. Again, I will ask you, are you comfortable serving as an active session member, an active elder, knowing the charge and the commission of active elders in this church? I look forward to it. That's fantastic. And as of this Sunday, Cooper Caldwell, you will be an active elder in this church. Let's pray. Great and gracious God, you indeed know all things, and for that we are so, so grateful. Lord, we are grateful that you have inserted Cooper into our midst here in your church in Cheryl's Ford. We are so grateful with the directions and the opportunities that you have given us as a church. We are so grateful that you continue to serve up to us leaders within your church. Lord, we ask a blessing upon Cooper. We ask a blessing upon all the people who have served as elders before Cooper. They have been tireless. They have been marvelous. And Lord, we ask a blessing upon Jeannie, and we ask a blessing upon Mary, who will be joining Cooper in the class of 2024. Lord, we ask all these things in your son's precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Now it's it. <laughs>